Data is a free cloud platform where you can build and deploy your ideas without worrying about server costs and without providing any credit card information. They offer three cloud solutions. Database. Database is an instantly usable NoSQL database that comes with unlimited storage. Data Drive. Data Drive is an easy to use file storage service where you can upload, host, and serve images and files up to 10 GB for free. Data Micros. Micros are servers tied to an HTTP endpoint. Currently, only Node.js and Python Micros are supported. So you can use the Data Micros service to host your Node.js or Python APIs. And in this video, we are going to look at the Node.js example. To start using their services, we need to sign up to Data Cloud. Visit their website and click on Join Data to create an account. Fill in the necessary information here and click Sign Up. After this, it will send you a confirmation link via email. Once you confirm your email, you will be redirected to this page. While we are here, let's create our first project. Click on this Create First Project button, choose your region and click Create. Next, we need to install the Data CLI, which is the tool that is used to deploy your Node.js or Python applications to Data Micros. From here, you need to copy the install script based on your operating system. Let's install the CLI from our terminal. After it's installed, you need to close and reopen the terminal so that it recognizes the data command now. After you install the data CLI, next step is to log in to data. For that, type data login in your terminal. This will redirect you to the browser and log you in. Now that we are logged in, we need to create a data micro. Before creating a micro, there are two things that data requires for Node.js applications to be deployed on their servers. The first thing is the entry point file must be named as index.js. If you named it server.js or something else, you need to change it to index.js and also update the main entry file in your package.json. And the second thing is that we are required to add the module exports at the bottom of our entry file, which is index.js, so that data recognizes our application. After updating the project based on their requirements, you need to navigate to the parent directory of your project. And from the parent directory, we need to run this command data new dash dash node to specify that our application is in node and the micro name. Note that micro name must be exactly the same name as the project folder which is on your computer. So you can see that the micro has been created and we have a hidden dot data folder in our project. Whenever you need to redeploy your API, just run data deploy from your project's terminal. Let's change something small and try it out. As you can see, it has been deployed. Run data details to get the URL of your micro and open up that URL to verify that it worked. As you can see, it has been deployed and running under this endpoint. In summary, Data is a really great platform for your projects to be deployed without any cost but it comes with two main downsides. First one is the strict rules that you have to follow for your application or API to run or their servers without getting errors, like specifying the entry point file name and other things. And the second is you are limited to only Node.js and Python applications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.